Converting images of humans into 3D mesh objects has been a topic that I have not revisited in a while. If you guys don't remember, P4HD is a research I covered some time ago where you can generate a 3D mesh of a person by giving the AI a single input image of the person. And that includes the back of the body when it cannot be seen from the input image. And after two years, this research called ICON, short for Implicit Close to Humans Obtained from Normals, published a more polished method in generating 3D mesh of a human body. Not only does it perform well on extreme poses which Pifu HD struggled badly with, it is also able to create an animatable avatar from 400 images. In a direct comparison made on their official demo, you can see that Icon produces one of the most consistent results. Compared to Pifu HD and multiple other similar research, they were nowhere near Icon's level of accuracy in producing 3D mesh of a body. In the official demo, they also showed how well it performed on In The Wild data. The blue side is the side where the person's body is visible to us, while the green and red side is the side not shown to us or the AI, meaning these parts are completely guessed by the AI which makes it incredibly impressive for its accurate estimations of the human body. But when it comes to 3D rendering, how can we forget about Nerf? Human Nerf, short for free viewpoint rendering of moving people from monocular video and as its name suggests, it can render a person out of a single viewpoint video. This includes the parts of the body that weren't shown on the video. Even though it may not be as complete and smooth as how Icon generates the 3D mesh, it does show a good demonstration of how clear and accurate it can generate a closed human body without much difficulty. The downside about using Nerf is that 3D mesh generation may not be easily accessible or accurate because of how it is generated. For instance, when compared to Icon, just looking at the hand or the fingertips shows that human nerve is much mushy while Icon is a lot more precise on the hand shape. And if you want to output this mushy hand from human nerve, it might give you a really deformed 3D mesh. But this is only one of the few nerf research focused on rendering the human body, so that might change too in the future. While we are still talking about 3D body synthesis, there's another research called SHAPE, short for Accurate 3D Body Shape Regression Using Metric and Semantic Attributes, which focuses on accurately estimating the body shape of the person in an image. This research is slightly different to what the previous ones do and is an interesting topic, so I might as well give it a mention. As for the use case, Mm, it could be used to measure the body type for clothes fitting, maybe? Alright then, moving on, if there is body meshing, there must be face meshing too, right? I am avatar short for implicit morphable head avatars from videos does write that. I am avatar tackles the problem where traditional 3D MM and nerf models lack from each other and made an in between that combines the perks of 3D MM's generalizable expression control and nerf's photorealistic details creating this easily manipulatable RGB mesh. In the official demo where it is compared to older research, I am avatar generates much more detailed mesh and RGB render. Not only can you see the eyes are precisely generated while some other older research cannot, the mesh is also smooth and contains much less artifacts than the others. A pretty huge step up I would say. Lastly, I want to show you guys this research called the BEMO, short for Building Animatable 3D Neural Models from Mini Casual Videos. And yes, as you can see, it it is an AI model generator for animals. It turns any cat videos into a cute blob of 3D model and works greatly even if you view it from different directions. And this is not limited to cats only. It is a semi-generalizable model that works on dogs too and even humans. In this demo, you can see that the 3D model accurately copies the movements of the Shiba. And what's even cooler is that you can also view this 3D model with its original color on or off and with its movements from the video. Even though the 3D model's exact details aren't really accurate and the cat looks really deformed, it is still kind of cool how it replicates the movements so clearly. The same goes for the 3D Shiba model. Even though the surface isn't really smooth, but the leg length and the head movements are incredibly realistic and genuine. And you know what's even cooler? And that is today's sponsor, Brilliant.org. 
You know, I've actually been asked a lot of times about where to start learning the fundamentals of AI and machine learning. And you know what I'll always say? YouTube videos because they are free, but free content comes with compromises. The quality of the learning content, interactions with the materials, or a clear layout and specific real way to master a field. So this is where Brilliant.org comes in. Brilliant provides a way to learn interactively with Brilliant's fun hands-on lessons in math, science, and computer science. Since interactive learning helps you learn six times more effectively than watching lecture videos, because you are getting direct feedback right away. Not only that, Brilliant also provides a clear roadmap on different subjects for all knowledge levels. From basic algebra to advanced multivariable calculus, from programming with Python to artificial neural networks, trust me, their STEM courses do not miss. I was actually thrilled to be able to promote Brilliant.org because this is probably one of the best online learning platforms for STEM courses out there, and I had used it a lot during my time in high school when studying math and computer science. So yeah, join the millions of people already learning on Brilliant with a special offer just for y'all. Use the link down below in the description to get started for free with Brilliant's interactive lessons. The first 200 listeners will also get 20% off an annual membership, which is pretty neat. And yeah, thank you for watching. You will be able to find the code's availability down in the description. A huge thanks to Andrew Laschelius, Chris Ledoux, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. If you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord and ask there too. Follow my Twitter for some cool monthly rankings, and I'll see you in the next one.